year, on the first day of March, in my country we have a tradition to give each other a martinica. In a word, this is like an amulet against negative energy. If you are interested, I have a plenty of videos on one of my playlists. To see it, click on the info card in the upper right corner. Today I decided to knit one bracelet on the pass-up. To make it, you must follow the same steps as for the idiot cord. Make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. I will use the right side of the machine, but you can start anywhere. Raise only two needles in one to one division. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 3. Set the back lock to GX, we will knit only on the front bed of the machine. The traditional martinets is made from two colors, red and white. The white color symbolizes purity and the red color is a symbol of life and passion. Insert the black strippers and take the white yarn. Knit one row, the lock must be on the left side of the machine. Now raise two more needles as shown in the video and knit one row. The cast on is ready. Clear the row counter. Lower the front bed and attach a weight to the left side of the knitting. If you skip this step, you will jam the machine. I'm using weights from another knitting machine. If you have a cast on comp, you can use it. Set the front lock to BX and press both arrow keys. Raise pushers and the row working needles on the front bed. You must have a total of 4 needles and 4 pushers in working position. You can knit without using the edge springs, but make sure to center the trigger for the row counter, otherwise you have to count the rows or move the lock over it. Knit 30 rows to make the first section. Now clear the row counter and change the yarn. Knit 30 more rows without changing the settings. In my case, 10 rows are equal to 1 cm cord, so I will knit 9 sections. For each section I have to knit 30 rows, this means I need 270 rows in total. You have to change the color after each section. When you are changing the color, pick the yarn from the lock using the orange tool and hold your hand near the color changer until you need the first two rows. In the end, you will have long yarn tails and it will be very easy to hide them. I came up with this idea while I was making the third bracelet, so I decided to include it in the video. When you knit all 9 sections, lower the front bed, cut the yarn from the lock and thread it into the double eye bodkin tool. Remove the weight and start taking the stitches from left to right. When you take all stitches, the bracelet will fall from the machine. This is the bracelet right after you take it from the machine. At this point you have to hide the yarn tails. This step will determine how the bracelet will look in the end. At first I will cut the tail short to make the process easier. Take a tapestry needle and thread it using one of the tails. Then pass the needle through the center of the cord. Pull the 
Marianne te elen ke dieksis. Then take the other tail and hide it the same way. This time you have to pass the needle to the other side to hide the red tail in the red section. The tails will remain inside the tube and the cord won't unravel. Continue the same way and hide all the yarn tails. Take the tails from both ends and hide them as well. If the cord isn't perfectly round, you can turn on the iron to medium and press it as shown in the video. This depends on the yarn which you are using. In the video I'm using acrylic yarn and in the end the cord wasn't perfectly round. You can also check the stitch size and try to increase it or decrease it by a number. When I'm using cotton yarn this step is not necessary. This is the final result. I have knitted a total of 9 sections. The bracelet is about 31 cm long or 12 inches. Now I'm going to give it to someone. That's all for today. Chestita Baba Marta, stay healthy and see you in my next video.